I got my first job in studios and when I finished college I went and worked for a year in post-production as a uh, runner and then uh, assistant track layer. I met Danton and uh, he needed a, uh, an assistant and uh, I think the way he put it was uh, do you want to come and work for uh, less money and more hours? So I became uh, his assistant and engineer and moving to, um, to Dean Street uh, I was I kind of learned from him uh, and uh, uh, kind of his way of working through Pro Tools and uh, you know once you are working with someone that busy like him you know you need to learn pretty fast kind of my journey was set of the arc uh dean street studios uh strong studios um rack studios and then kind of freelancing everywhere but uh i spent a long time at strong room in uh, studio four so i helped build that room the learning process is mostly from uh experiencing it right so i took like, I don't know, the work ethic, uh, I love the work ethic of that person, oh, well, I want to make it mine, okay. Well, I love what that person does uh, EQ-wise, you know, on vocals. Oh, I, I had the, the luck of being able to be the fly on the wall and, uh, on the wall and, uh, and just like stand behind them while they were doing it and they were kind enough to let me be there. So that was amazing to me, it's so precious. It they, makes this sound. It's not the prettiest, but you gotta tune all the strings. Um, I need to find another string. Um, everything comes out of the desk in left and right, so there is no way that I can change the levels afterwards. So is that? That's why I record very long chunks because instead of um, being able to change what's within the recording, I'm just gonna edit. Uh, in entire chunks of it in and out and if something is not there where it simply is not there such is life you know the photograph was carrying the uh, uh, vibraphone loop and uh, it was being recorded onto the two archives and the uh, PR99 and then because the PR99 has got a um, very speed you can change the pitch but uh, change the speed and therefore the pitch and so if you can um, if you can be careful enough, you can create harmonies of uh, the vibraphone loop. There. decided to to play at tape machines because I knew I learned uh, them and uh, I wanted for them to be recognized and used as instruments because they can be instruments you know they make noise and they make sounds and you can use them in very creative ways that's a track I mix with factory floor um, for the last release there was a um, for a project that they did as a soundtrack for um, Metropolis the film you know it's like them playing for two hours 